My name is Ed Brink. I'm the Division Manager of Training and Technical Support for Meyer Supply Company. Today we're going to talk about how to set up the function settings with a PVA, A30, AA-7 air handler with a PAR-40 MMA controller. The function settings are one of the common mistakes that are made during the installation of an air handler and setting the correct function settings will give you the best performance of the air handler. We're gonna talk about function setting one, which is the auto restart feature. Function setting two, which is the sensor location. Function number eight and 10, which set the static pressure of the blower. And functions 11 and 23 that set up the back heat. Before you start the setup of a controller, make sure that the controller is powered off and that you have the correct power and voltage going to the indoor unit. To set the function settings, you could use Meyer Supply's technical bulletin setting function settings for a PAR33 MMA controller as a guideline. Even though the controllers are slightly different, the function settings in the process is basically the same. We're gonna now go through the process of setting up the PAR40 controller. As you can see, the PAR40 controller is already powered off. We verified that we have the correct voltage to the system and we want to go ahead and enter the menu by pressing the menu button twice. You can see this controller is a little bit different and we're going to have arrow buttons to the left and the right. We want to scan over until we get to the little service icon all the way to the right. And you'll see up here on the top of the screen, it will say service. To enter that menu, you just hit the select button. It's going to ask you for a password or a passcode Passcode is 999, using the cursor buttons to move right or left, and the plus and negative buttons to increase or decrease the number value, we're gonna change that to 999. And you can see I missed the first one, the second one is eight, so we're gonna increase that. Once the um, password reads 9999, we're going to hit the select button. It's going to take us into the service menu and we want to scroll down to settings using the up and down arrows. So we're going to scroll down to settings and press select. It's going to take us to function settings where again we're going to press select again to take us into the function settings. It's important when you're going into this menu that you understand that there are two different levels of uh, function setting menus. First the outdoor unit address needs to be zero and the indoor unit address is either gonna be group or one. In order to enter the function codes for one and two, we have to use the group setting. So using the arrows to scroll down, we can change this from group to one, but in this case, we wanna be group at zero and we hit select. It's gonna take us to the function settings that we need for function setting one and two. What it's doing now is it's scrolling and scanning the system to determine what the existing values of the system are. As you can see from the function setting menu, we have mode one, two, three, and four. Using the up and down arrows, I wanna change my mode um, selection. And again, we wanna to go to function number one, which is auto restart, and we wanna make sure that's set for two. So with function setting or mode setting one highlighted, I could use the cursor buttons to scroll through to change that to two. Next, I want to go down and change function setting two. I'm going to use the down arrow and the right and left arrows to make sure that, that function setting is set for three. That's telling the remote controller that it's going to sense temperature from the remote controller and not the unit. Once those two settings are made, press select or hold to enter those values into the system. We're back to the function setting menu and we need to return back to the function setting screen where we can change the unit number from group to one. So using the down arrow, we wanna select group and using the right and left arrows, we wanna select one. Once we have the correct setting made, we're gonna hit the select button. 
It's scanning the system to try to see what the initial settings are. And now we want to go to function 8 and function 10. Function 8 and 10 are going to allow us to change the static capability of this air handler. We have three settings from 0.3 inches of water column, 0.5 inches of water column, or 0.8 inches of water column. In this particular example, we're going to set the air handler up for 0.8 inches of external static pressure in an upflow configuration. In order to do that, we have to change function 8 to 3 and function 10 to 1. So we're going to scroll down till we get to mode 8, use the over button until that's highlighted at 3. So we've got function 8 set for 3. We're going to scroll down until we get to function 10 and make sure that that's highlighted at 1. If it's not, we can use the over right and left arrows in order to highlight that function setting. Now, with the function settings set 8 set for 3 and 10 set for 1, the air handler is going to be set for 0.8 inches of external static pressure. So we can go ahead and hit select to send that information to the control board. Once we hit this screen or return back to this screen, we want to go and enable the electric heat function. We're going to do that through function 11 and 23. In our example, we're going to set the electric heat so that it is enabled and that the heat is going to be activated during defrost and on a communication error. In order to do that, we have to change function setting 11 to 2 and function setting 23 also to 2. To get the correct function settings, refer to the installation manual. So in order to change our mode setting from 7 to 11, we're just going to scroll down into our arrow points to 11. And in this case, we want to set that setting for 2. Using the right and left arrow buttons, I want to make that setting 2. And then I want to scroll down to function setting or mode setting 23. Now that we're at mode setting 23, we also want to make sure that that's at 2. We can use the right and left arrow buttons to highlight the function setting that we want to make. Once that setting is correct, we want to hit the select or hold button, and that's going to send that information to the control board. Once we return back to the function setting screen, we want to hit the return button. So we can get to the service menu. In the service menu, we want to go and change the request code that allows or enables that backup heat time delay. The unit is set for 24 minute time delay on a call for second stage of heat. The only way that we can change that is through a request code using a wired controller. And in order to do that, we have to go back to the service menu and scroll down to the check mode. Once, we, the, once the check is highlighted under the settings or service menu, we want to hit select. Once we get into the check menu, we want to scroll down to request codes and then hit select. We want to make sure that this unit address is zero and we want to scroll down and make this request code 391. 391 is telling us or telling the indoor unit to change the time delay from 24 minutes to 11 minutes for backup heat. In order to change this from 000 to 391, we're gonna use the over button and the plus and minus button to make this three, the first digit three, second digit nine, and the third digit one. Once we have the correct setting of 391, we want to press the select or hold button, and that's going to send that information to the electronic control board, changing that time delay from 24 minutes to 11 minutes. If we wanted to check that control board to see if we have the right setting, what we can do is change this request code from 391 to 390. In order to do that, we're going to use the down arrow and the over arrow and we're going to change this from 391 to 390. 
what we're going to do now, once this is set for 390, we're going to request what that setting is from the control board. We hit select, and it's going to display the setting that it sees or has saved in that board, which should be 391, and it is. So this just verifies that we have the correct function setting set into the controller. Once your request code is set to change the defrost, sorry, to change the time delay between backup heat from 24 to 11 minutes, you can just hit return to take you back to the main menu. And as you're setting up the controller, or if you have any questions during the process, feel free to reach out to your local Meyer Supply representative or refer to the technical bulletin on how to set function settings for the PAR33 controller. Even though the display is slightly different, the steps and the procedures for setting up the PAR33 and the PAR40 are exactly the same. Thank you very much.